I'm Charles Bankhead of MedPage Today. Combining albumin-bound paclitaxel and gemcitabine led to clinical and radiographic responses in three-fourths of a small group of patients with advanced pancreatic cancer, according to a study reported at the American Association for Cancer Research. Dr. Daniel Von Hoff of the Scottsdale Research Institute in Arizona discusses the findings in the following interview. Well, as you know, patients with advanced pancreas cancer have a, uh, unfortunately, a poor prognosis. And so we're trying to add on to the standard of therapy, which is gemcitabine or gemcitabine plus the drug erlotinib. And uh, to do that, we've been looking for other targets in patients' tumors. And uh, looking for those other targets, we found uh, a protein called SPARC, which is called secreted protein acid-rich in cysteine. And uh, the SPARC protein is elevated in about 80% of patients' pancreas cancers. There turns out to be a drug called NAB paclitaxel, which actually is attracted to that protein high in patients' tumors. And while many combinations in addition the gemcitabine have not added very much. We thought that because of that targeting, we'd actually have a good combination to try for patients. So we started what's called the phase one trial of using standard dose gemcitabine and adding increasing doses of this drug, NAB paclitaxel, also known as Abraxane. Uh, in that study, uh, we've now entered uh, 30 patients. We are reporting on the first 20 as far as efficacy. It's a fairly well-tolerated regimen. It has uh, decreased blood counts as one might expect. Uh, there also has been some uh, peripheral neuropathy, numbness and tingling in the fingers and toes if you have uh, multiple courses of the drug, usually beyond five different cycles after five months. But it's been fairly well tolerated and uh, the reason that we're reporting it today is because it has uh, a high level of activity. We've seen a rapid decrease in CA199, a marker for the disease. We've seen patients' PET scans improve rapidly and uh, in the first 16 patients where we have follow-up x-rays, we've seen nine of them have uh, dramatic decreases in the size of their tumors. Some have been quite durable. Uh, we haven't seen uh, all the effects on survival yet. That's under continued study. And we're still in the study. Uh, we've escalated the doses up, and we're going to be reporting on our first cohort of patients, the first 20. I'm Charles Bankhead, MedPage Today.